Mick O'Rourke is being remembered tonight as a dedicated officer who served with distinction. And 7 Action News reporter Tom Wade is live at police headquarters in West Bloomfield. And Tom, this has been a loss for the entire community. And right now we are waiting for more information here at the Township Police Department headquarters, but there is certainly a lot of tension in the air. Police are emotionally exhausted. They have been there since 10 o'clock last night, and of course they are trying to figure out exactly where this man is inside the home. We're of course talking about Ricky Coley. He's the one last night who started this entire mess. He apparently was supposed to be out of the house today. His mother was with him yesterday evening. She was trying to get him out of the house and when they went there to get him out of the house to move him out his mother and brother say he fired a shot and that's when all of this started to unravel as of right now of course coley has been shooting at police officers for hours the good news though is he has not been doing so for the past couple of hours as far as we know it's been very quiet at this scene he had been firing at the robots that they were sending into the home they were also firing at the police officers Hundreds of rounds were told were fired. It was a very dangerous situation. Part of the house, as Tara mentioned, had been uh, dismantled. So right now they are just trying to figure out exactly where this man is. In about an hour, they may wrap things up because they don't want to put anyone else in danger. So they may just have the, the scene secured and have police wait there all night with stadium lights to make sure nothing else happens. Reporting live in West Bloomfield, I'm Tom Waits, 7 Action News.